Hey everyone, it's Nick with The Whip Shop and I have an exciting, simple little pattern for you guys. I call this one the alternating pattern. Setup is simple. We're taking every strand and one half of that strand is one color and the other half is another color. For this particular whip, we're actually going to be using red and black, but you can obviously use any two colors you like. Now like many other plating patterns in herringbone, this one's kind of neat because if you look straight down on top of it, we're getting this alternating pattern, which is the whole purpose of the video. But if we turn to the left 90 degrees or the right, we can see that both sides have a chevron pattern. So it's sort of like you're plating two in one. So with that being said, before you keep going, please do hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more videos just like this one on the way. Also, please do check out my Patreon page for Nick's Whip Shop. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tutorial. Hope you guys learned something. So I have all of my strands here. What I'm going to do is separate four and four doesn't matter which ones as long as I have four strands in one hand and four strands in the other. I'm going to set these aside for now. I'm going to tie this on like we do every other whip. Just like that, make sure that the joined um, strands are in the back where the joints are, where they're melted together. Next, we're going to take our other four strands and whatever color we have on the left hand side here, we're going to feed in the opposite color. So black here is going to be on the, the bottom left, so I'm going to feed red in. And this is a really fun, easy pattern to set up. All the strands are going in. Close that off. Like that. And now I can begin to pull these through all the way to the middles of the strands. And there you can see is the area where the two strands are melted together. And we'll start with the next strand. And there we go. And the next strand. There it is, and one last strand, you'll see the melted section stop us, getting a little twist in there, right there. So I'm getting ready to plate this handle, and I'm going to do so in a two-strand side-by-side diamond plait, taking two strands and plating them at the same time. Now it's important to make sure that as you're plating the handle, you don't lose this orientation that you see right now. So whatever order the strands are in, do your best to keep them that way. So I'm gonna plate this handle. I'll show you a little bit of this pattern. Under two, over two. Under two, over two. It's always a little bit tricky to start these. Got a lot of stuff sliding around. Under two, over two red, under two red, over two black. And pointing to the upper right two black strands together. We're going under two red, over two black, under two black, over two red. Now notice here, I'm trying to keep all of my strands in order. Now you'll notice at some points in between each pass, you will get some red below the black here, but that's okay. What, what's important to make sure is that once you complete a pass, you're back to square one as far as where the strands are resting. And I'll show you what I mean by that. We're already looking good. See, things are still organized. 
its alternating pattern. Top left is black, bottom left is red, top right is red, bottom right is black. So we are doing good. Like I said, this is, you don't have to plate this hand, at this pattern for the handle. You don't have to do this. If you were making a snake whip, the way that I tied this pattern on from the beginning, you would just go straight into the herringbone, the way I tied it on, and you would get the same result for the alternating pattern. Under red, over black, under black, over red. So I'm gonna keep this, this up, and just make sure that as you're working your way through this pattern, you're frequently stopping and just making sure that everything is uh, according to the way it should be. So I'm gonna go down to the transition and we'll get into the actual pattern of a herringbone alternating 16 plat. All right, I've just finished plating the handle for this bull whip. Now it's time to transition over to our herringbone pattern, but before we do so, we just want to make sure that the sequence is the same as it was when we tied on the strands, meaning that we have on the upper left our one color, which is red, and the upper right we have the other color, which is black. Bottom left is black, bottom right is red. So you can see we're already alternating. We are ready to go into our herringbone under four over four on both sides. That's really all there is to this pattern. It's very easy to set up. It's a very eye-catching pattern. And there we go. We can see that we are consistent. Top right four strands are red, bottom left four strands are red, and that is our pattern. All we have to do is just carry this out to the end and drop strands as we go. So we are working our way down, we've made a few passes, and there is our pattern. So we're almost ready to drop a strand. I'm actually going to drop strands one at a time and just kind of let this break off into, uh, and let it do its thing really. Alright, we have come up to the first strand that we need to drop. So giving our strand one last pull, and we're going to be tucking it underneath our other strands. And we can continue plating. On the left, we're temporarily under four over three. On the right, we're still under four over four, temporarily. And we're going to keep on plating until we arrive at our black strand that will need to be dropped. Excellent. Plate a couple more strands over that drop strand before we cut it. camera is so close to the work area, I keep brushing it with my fingers. Doesn't look like it's close. It's got that 10 millimeter on there. Anyways, all right, it's time to cut this strand. And we're gonna melt it and fuse it into our belly beneath. And my lighter is on the ragged edge of running out 
of butane. All right, tuck that right in there. And we're gonna keep on going. Now we can completely cover up that dropped strand. And now here is our black strand that we will be dropping. It's the equivalent strand to the red one we just dropped. There he is, right there. Continuing to plate. One more strand. And then I'll feel comfortable dropping it. Like I said uh, in a previous video, I like to have two longer strands uh, below the strand that I'm about to drop because there's just a little bit of extra pressure here. So when I give this its last pull and tuck it underneath to the belly below into its final resting place, I have these two strands right here that are applying pressure so I don't have to worry about it coming out. And now we are plating under four over three. 14 plat on both sides. Guys, that's it. It's as simple as that. Carry this pattern all the way to the fall hitch. Drop strands simultaneously if you choose to, or one at a time like I'm doing here. And that is all it is. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this tutorial. I've got many more coming. Once again, please do hit that subscribe button because it really helps the channel. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to be making a video soon about my wood that I received in the mail from bellforest.com. I've already made this handle. This is one gay wood. It's her favorite. It's probably my favorite too. So that video is coming soon.